New at six, tense moments inside a South Florida synagogue after pro-Palestine protesters interrupted a guest speaker event. Cameras were rolling as the protesters were escorted out of Temple Emmanuel on South Beach. And tonight we know one of them is accused of resisting law enforcement. CBS News Mommy's Morgan Reiner spoke to people there about exactly what happened. Longtime Harvard Law Professor Alan Dershowitz spoke to a crowd of people at Temple Emanuel on Sunday evening. He talked about the relationship with Israel and America. He talked about what's going on at college campuses. Rabbi Rick Chisiver said they expected protesters outside. We had police presence. We had private security. They were allowed to come up to the synagogue, to the barrier, because everyone has a right to protest if it's done peacefully. But security had alerted him before the event had even started. Several people they had seen at other protests around South Florida were sitting in the crowd. Four separate times, protesters stood up and started yelling and screaming and disrupting the the talk. Although private property, Dershowitz didn't have security escort them out immediately. I'm not afraid of any questions. He actually welcomed any discourse, but only during the question and answer period. He wants to hear the other viewpoint. We all want to hear the other viewpoint, but there's a proper manner in which you do so. You do it at the question and answer period. Additionally, uh, you know, uh, the, some of them were not peaceful. They had to be escorted out. One person was handcuffed. Joshua Lehrman attended the event. I think as an American citizen, you have every right to protest, but to, um, you know, infiltrate a synagogue, to scream at elderly people, um, to make threats, it's completely out of line. He is the one who recorded this video. This woman got up, she started screaming and harassing people. And um, Alan Dershowitz was right on the money. Um, you know, simultaneously as it took place, he was saying, please do not engage. Please don't fight back. Don't fall into the trap. Don't hurt anybody. Because this is what they want, meaning the people who, you know, support Hamas especially, they want this to be utilized as political propaganda. That video now seen hundreds of thousands of times online. I think anybody looking at this and saying, gee, you know, you, you're not justified in, in being in front of a, an elderly couple and screaming in their face. You're, you're just not. Morgan Reiner, CBS News, Miami.